October 7th, a light in the darkness. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 2. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in the land of the shadow of death, upon them a light has shined. An artist created a painting of a wintry twilight. The trees were barren and laden with snow, while a dreary looking house stood desolate in the midst of the drifted field. It was a bleak and depressing picture. Then the artist took some yellow paint and with a few quick strokes painted a candle glowing in one of the windows of that home. The effect was almost magical. Just one little light and the entire scene was transformed into a vision of comfort and cheer. The prophet Isaiah looked at his own country and recognized a need for comfort and cheer. He saw the spiritual darkness that enveloped many parts of his nation, especially in the north around the Sea of Galilee. This area had been conquered by the Syrian king Ben-Hadad, 1 Kings chapter 15 verse 20, and became a melting pot of Jews and Gentiles. A mixture of Judaism and paganism became the dominant religion. The situation looked hopeless, but even into the stronghold of darkness and spiritual death, Isaiah saw a light break forth. Centuries later, when the apostles began to preach the resurrected Christ, this area became the center of great revival. Acts chapter 8 verses 5 to 8. Indeed, the light of Christ's redemption shone brightly. Whether it's your nation or your personal life, the light of Christ makes a difference. In the darkness of sin, you can find the light of his forgiveness. In the darkness of ignorance, his wisdom illumines the way. In the darkness of trials and trouble, his presence dispels the blackness. Whatever darkness threatens to overshadow your life, let Jesus be the light who drives it away. Jesus is the light of the world. John chapter 9 verse 5. Wherever it is darkest, Christ shines the brightest. Amen.